Jeff Kenenge live at the Villa Rosa Kempinski on this Wednesday. It's all about politics 101. And because Ababu Namwamba refused to come, you know the show must go on. That's the bottom line. So Edwin Sifuma, Sifuna, the coup leader who took over the Secretary General's office at ODM. It's not a coup if there's no one it was in the coup. office. It was a coup. If there's no one in the office, it's a coup still. <laughs> It's in nature abhors a vacuum. Yeah. Nature abhors a, a vacuum. vacuum. Yes. So he's in an acting basis. Yeah. Those are the words he's, of former Deputy he's, Speaker yeah. Farah Malin. He's one of the junior members of the party. We've <laughs> got a senior member to become Secretary General. But he has a powerful future in politics, I can assure you. <laughs> nature abhors a vacuum. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you entered that office. Yeah, yes. because there will be a vacuum otherwise. But you are not officially Secretary General. No, no, no. Your party hasn't appointed you. No. There's been no letter sent to you. Yeah. Mm. Even though you were with your party leader today, there was no mention of no men's son but oh, you, you, you 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 are not privy to the discussions we had today oh so really you oh, can't say oh, is there something discussed. you want to tell us no uh, there's no, no, nothing no, i want no, to tell no, you no, no, about no. those discussions is ababu coming back <laughs> where <laughs> you know you know the brits left the eu yeah brexit a brexit Absolutely. they have a new pm tonight. no no no, no, yes. no the lawyer yeah, yeah. may, may may somebody may yeah, yeah. <laughs> Theresa may, Theresa may yeah, yeah. Yeah. let me tell you one thing one of the rules in the eu is that once you leave, no turning back. There's no turning back. Same with ODM? Only yes. one way door. Yeah. No, no, with ODM, maybe after one term. You have to be in the call for a while and then get used to the call and then realize that you actually missed the hit and come back for the hit. <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean? Yes. Uh, yes. So, so uh, many people left us. And, uh, the, By the way, in the pictures when Ababu was uh, defecting or resigning yeah. or quitting or stepping down, we saw F Fred Gumo there. Absolutely. We and, saw uh, you have seen David McCarley. You've seen him in the photographs of the meeting. He was there. Yeah. Serious? Yeah. What do you mean there. serious? It's your party. What do you he mean was serious? Well, he well, was there. And uh, maybe, I was telling maybe, you maybe that uh, even, expert. Even, even today, even today when uh, the photograph was taken at State House of uh, the president supposedly meeting Newford Kenya leaders, Fred Gumo was in that meeting. So that tells you that uh, Ababu Namwamba is working for Jubilee right now. And, uh, you know, w one of the things that people need to understand very clearly, yes. when people talk about the people of Western shifting, people need to ask themselves, what is this about Jubilee? What, what is Jubilee? What does Jubilee stand for? This is uh, a government that has ravaged the economy of Western Oh, come on, man. No, no, let, 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 let me just explain. No, 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 no. Let me explain. You are two called people no, on no, this no. bench. Let me explain. I am speaking as a called one, one person from Western Kenya. A sugarcane farmer, which you might You're not know. You're a sugarcane farmer? I am a sugarcane farmer. Oh, really? Farmer. And yes, who messed... Uh, this, is, this is the discussion that the people of Western Kenya are having. Because you don't just tell people, join Jubilee. It has to be representative of something that actually helps their lives. And who messed Mumia? This is, this is what we want. Who messed Mumia? You, you need to understand. You need to understand one thing. Yeah? That the sugar industry has been messed by this government. Because they have insisted on a policy of importation of sugar. You remember recently, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta went to Uganda to did make a deal with uh, Museveni okay, to did import just, sugar. Did you just start importing sugar no, recently? No, no, just a minute, just a minute. This is government policy. We should be supporting local industries and local farmers. Looking into the problems of efficiency with our meals. We are producing uh, less sugar from Moken as compared to other economies in the world. Instead of addressing those efficiencies, but did the, the government just pump in like five billion Kenya one, shillings? One, one where, billion, one billion. Where okay, the five it was billion. one, but a promise for five, no, right? No, no, paying the debts. Machines don't run on promises, my brother. Paying the debts. We have a problem. I'm sorry, there. who was MD for Mumias for all those years? You, you I'm look sorry, him up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You look him up. You. you look him up. We're saying this is government policy. I'm addressing government, government policy. Is Kidero government? I, no, listen. Hang Listen. On, hang on, hang on a minute. Let, <laughs> let, let's, let's, let's just get now to the substantive issues on the sugar sector. Go on. The sugar sector has been supported by successive governments right from the Moi days. The cheap importation, the tax evasion on the sugar yep. itself, cartels. Making, make, yes. cartels, making our own, what do you call, a, a sugar yep. not competitive yep. within the markets yep. because of the tax evasion. I mean, we, it, we did, we did corruption. it. It, it happened corruption. under Moi. It happened under under the, the 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 PNU. It happened under the coalition of uh, uh, what do you call the coalition government yeah, where I was in Sumkate. It's happening now. Look at the kind of support. Even the Mira farmers are getting. For example, I'll tell you one thing. Something that is basically a drug. And who the other day said one billion one shillings. billion shillings. <laughs> you get my point. Yeah. 
it, for, for me, it's tantamount to saying the marijuana, what do you call farmers, one billion shillings? No, but Mira, it's, it's Hang on a minute, right. because I'm we are the main right. consumers and we know yes, the you are. Okay, let's. Yes, you are. Very. Yes, yes. We were the ones who consume the same way Kumikumi is consumed in some other places. <laughs> <laughs> in, in our places. It's like saying one billion shillings for Kumikumi, what do you call it? <laughs> but look at, look at these poor guys. The tea has always had people who are dear who hold it dear yes. to their heart in the system. The coffee. Yes. I was one of the early members in the seventh parliament who was a member of the coffee and tea parliamentary caucus <coughs> fighting for the, uh, the tea and, and, and coffee farmers because I'm a consumer of both of them. Nothing like that has ever happened for the sugarcane farmers. You get my point? Mm -hmm. The milk the industry has got some big, big, weak guys who have invested in there, so always been taken good care of. You get me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, beef like you know, livestock in the case of Somalis, who cares about them? Nobody. No government puts in money you know, into Jeff, the livestock it, sector. It, it, Nobody. It, no government puts in money into the sugar sector because these are basically the the pawns, the the, the, the wretched of Kenya. Nobody cares about them. It it, it, it would be easy to make look the, the argument. Look at the, the, the fish. It, it yeah. would be easy to make the argument for Jubilee if indeed the, this government had shown any deliberate effort to actually. Uh, uplift the lives of the people of Western Kenya. If you talk about the sugar industry, for instance, have we addressed the inefficiencies in the sugar industry that have ensured that we as farmers remain poor? Do you know, Jeff, that for every ton of sugar, a farmer pays 700 shillings in transport when the miller is paying you 3,400 shillings per ton? And because of the poor roads, by the time the sugar cane leaves your farm, it lives on a track, maybe it has, you know, 50 tons, it reaches uh, the factory is 45 tons because five tons have been lost on the road because of a poor road network. We as the farmers are planting this cane and working hard on our farms for other people to reap these benefits. So we look at the policy that has been adopted by this government. If they wanted to help, they would have helped. Right now, farmers are crying about the, the, the quality of the seed that was supplied, the quality of the fertilizer that was supplied uh, for this uh, maize planting season, for instance. We are not going to have any harvest. We don't want to be given tenders to construct the airports like some of our friends here. We just want to be allowed to grow crops on our, uh, on our farms so that we can sell them and, yeah. and take yeah. our children to school, mm. you know. But when you have a system that... Kenya has suffered uh, because we have the suffered West, for long. The whole of so the Western side. I can, I can guarantee you that it will take a miracle of biblical proportions for Jubilee to be accepted in Western Kenya. It's not going to happen. You're kidding me. I am telling you for even, a fact. Even the, the way it seems look, divided look, right look, now? Look, no, no, no. Look, it look, doesn't seem divided. Look, let, me, let me tell you one thing. It's a divided. It's always been divided. Yeah. Western Kenya has voted for everybody. Correct. It's the most democratic people. The Bukusu will go this they way. They go in different directions, mainly because of poverty. Mainly because the same thing with North Eastern Province. We never vote in one direction. Right. Because people are poor. The rains fail, the livestock die, the people are always on food aid. You get my point? Yeah, yeah. The only people who are suffering like the rest of us and who have maintained the consistent in a political position and you can buy them with all the money. Although they're the, 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 it's the poorest region, is Lu Nyanza. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You can buy Lu Nyanza yeah. with all the money in the world. Yeah. But they're the poorest. Successive governments have targeted them and never done. Maybe the coalition government did a little bit okay, for them. Let's yes. look at scenarios then, because yes. I'll leave the CJ a little bit now. Let's look at scenarios. Mm. So, are you saying that with Mutavadi being wherever he is, we don't know yet, Wetangula not promised the presidency or the ticket yet, yes. we don't know, uh, uh, Wamalwa is CS. I mean, Luyaland is split three ways right now. Three ways till Sunday. I have I have had you count only two Lusaka, ways. Lusaka, of course. I have the, the, Lusaka. I have yeah. had, and I, I could go on. Yeah, because you cannot count these as, as three ways when Lusaka and uh, the CS were Malwa. They are on one side. You had recently. Generally? Uh, NFK folded up its, uh, its, uh, its party and right. joined Jubilee. So you are counting uh, two as three. Boss. You understand? Boss. There's only two sides. What was the ratio and in the last election? What was the, what was the distribution in Western Kenya? They went three ways. Correct. One, one went with, the majority went with uh, Raila Odinga, Correct. ODM. Yes. Correct. Some did go with Jubilee. The, the Musalia. Second, Musalia. Musalia got yes. the second biggest. And, Jubilee, yeah. and the Jubilee got also a substantial so number. Look yes. at the situation. So, so basically, it's like, uh, what do you call this thing where, you, know, you see, they're very democratic. And they kind of, kind of split their votes always. But uh, it's not a miracle that's going to change that. And we in ODM are hoping something changes. Okay. What will it take? What will it take? You know, let me, let me, okay, well, no, no, let me give you a scenario. Let me yes. paint a scenario for you, yes, uh, yes, yes. 
<clears throat> if Baba, if Roilo Dinga says, it's for some reason, he says, you know what? There's no way I can win 2017. He, work, me, work, work with me. Yeah. There's no way I can win. So, he endorses somebody. He endorses somebody. If Raila were to say today, for example, Carlos Otosha, and bring in Mudavadi on board. As a running mate. As a running mate. It's substantial, by the way, within the Luya, Luya the, the Bukusi Maragoli thing is also there. Oh, Mabitangula as a running mate. And the other one, basically part of the fold. It's game shot. It's finished. Over. It's like knock of 2002. You know, as, as far as I'm concerned, the people and, and he becomes he becomes the real power behind the king yes, maker. Yes. The king maker. He's a king the maker. real power behind it appointing forty percent of the fifty percent of the government. You understand mm -hmm. my point? And I trust somebody like Alonso or even Mudavadi. I mean there there is a, that that will be finished, the backstop. Yeah, but would Baba ever agree? Baba has done it before. Well, he has done it. Okay. Kibaki, yes, Kibaki, 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 Kibaki. Kibaki. Yes, yes, yes. So why would you not uh, think that he would do it? By, by the way, but they have made it clear. He admits that was an accident. They, they, they have no, made no, it no, clear. No, 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 no. They have made it clear. Uh, amongst the three of them, Kalonzo, Musioka, Wetangula, and, and, and Raila Odinga, yeah. that they will sit together and determine the ticket of the party, uh, of the coalition. As far as uh, the coalition is concerned, that decision has not been made yet. So we cannot, you know, preempt the discussions that are going on. No, we're not preempting. Yes. Just, just look, this, yes, is look, look, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Raila has won the elections twice. She won which one? Landslide in which 2007. One? Hang on a minute. Oh, come on. Hang on a minute. Man. Hang come on a minute. On. Hang on a minute. Don't talk history here. Hang on a minute. 2007, he won at landslide. He was rigged out. In the last election, I want to say that we're going to go for a runoff. Nobody had the absolute fifty percent. Which one? Hang on a minute. What country? Was this Somalia we were voting no, no, no. in? No, no, Kenya, 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 Kenya. My friend, Kenya. Here, your own cousin would not be the president if the things were done well. <laughs> <laughs> you did not say that. Hang on a minute. Why? Why is there such a disparity? Twelve million voted for the president and ten million voted for everybody else. You tell it those things. Yeah. No doubt about it. And even if he wins a third time, still something like that is going to happen, in my opinion. So it's time he did what he did with Moi last time. Spuna, yes. what if? And this scenario has been I probably love, it, love Miraela more than anybody else to be the president. I don't see how people are going to accept that. Because when you've been rigged out twice, I have no doubt in my mind he will rigged out third time. Right. So we need to change. It has to be you a see, game changer. So what if, what if Baba, hold on, hold on, Edwin, hold on, hold on. Yes. What if Baba said, for instance, Mutunga Tosha. You know, Mutunga, first of all, it's, over. First it's, of finished. All, uh, it's finished. First of Game all, Jeff. If William Mutunga were, were endorsed by, 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 by Raila and Kalonzo Musioka and Wetangula and Mudavadi, it's finished. It's over. It's game shot. You don't he becomes agree. the next president. You don't agree. You're you laughing. Know, the, the thing that baffles me is why it is not easy for every Kenyan to say they will not accept a rigged election. Why would you say that if Raila Odinga goes for it again, who are these people who are supposed to accept? Mm -hmm. A victory in an election is a victory in an election. What we need to get rid of in this country is this notion that somehow there are people who are responsible for handing over power to, to others, you know? An election is supposed to be free and fair, which is why the coalition is pushing for the reform of the IABC. We are saying that if the people at the ballot speak, there is nobody who is a higher power than the people. That once it has been determined that so and so is going to be the president. The same IPC you people no, 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 no. endorsed. Just endorsed where? You you endorsed where? Where? You endorsed where? Give Jeff. me the Jeff. instances where we Jeff. endorsed. It's a Hassan was given the thumbs up by the former prime minister. Man. He said, up this where? is my guy. No, 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 no. You need to understand one thing. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let's give you the facts on that. You are not in the last parliament. Just a minute. You are not in the last parliament. I want to address what you are saying. You know. You can hire somebody. For, you, for your show, for instance, you have people who work for you here. When they come for an interview, you satisfy yourself that these are people who can actually do the job. If those people, subsequent to getting the job, go outside the sphere of a job and misbehave, you still retain a job to, uh, you, you still retain the right to call way? them out. Because for instance, they don't for instance, to the, no, 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 no. Here's, here's a, a, a classic example. When you interview somebody for a job, it doesn't show you uh, how he, that he is going to be corrupt, for instance, that he is going to accept bribes. Was he a corrupt? The accusations Was have been made. Corrupt? The accusations have been but made nothing against. Nothing has stuck. You you will remember that the people who he is accused of receiving bribes from are in jail, as we speak. 
They are in jail. So why isn't he, how come nobody has anything on Isaac Hassan? Can we get it is under can, investigation? Can we try and, and, and disc, discuss the substance? IBC, for whatever reasons, is a wounded, what do you call, uh, animal. Uh, animal. And, and they just have to be nursed elsewhere. We have to change. I, IBC has to go. The whole thing? The whole thing. No, 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 no. You pick up, you know, maybe the commission itself, a few in the, in the, in the, in the, in the Because you people are not happy with it. No, no, no. It's no, not no, no. you people. And, and next time, if you're not happy, <laughs> if, you change if, it again. If, if you people uh, stop, uh, you know, talking across like this without any orderly <laughs> manner, <laughs> you'll not be able to get the facts for Kenyans. Because your deputy speaker is that right. And order. You know order. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me tell you one thing. You are right. We endorsed Isaac. Yes, you did. We endorsed him. He was the choice of the other side. We also endorsed it. If he said no, he would not be the one there. And I take part of the blame. I was involved in that. And Raila equally endorsed him. So the responsibility is ours. But you see, when you mess, it doesn't matter what the responsibility, where the responsibility lay. You still have to be dealt with. Just look at, just look at the moral, the moral background of these things. Here are people who are said to have done a corrupt deal with you. And they're in jail somewhere else. And you still hang out there and say, I'm not going to resign because I've not done any corruption. And here is a giver and the taker. You get my point? Yeah. So the mere fact that that element of suspicion and that element of these facts are out there, the best thing for them to do is to say, look, go home. We are going home. We are resigning. Put something else together. And then they can go to the UK. They can go and go through the court process. And if they are, if they are thoroughly convinced that they're innocent, let them go and be vindicated in the courts there. Because they are wanted in the courts there, as accessories to the corruption itself. Now, having said that, having said that, I don't want us to keep on bashing them because there's a tons and tons of evidence that will justify them being moved out. Mm. And they're ready to go right now. It's just a question of how do you go through the transition. Yeah. And your four-year information. It's not only court that wants them out. Jubilee wanted them out also. Have you seen how the members of parliament in Jubilee are? Yeah, yeah. They don't want them there. So the whole country does not want them. The approval rating is very low. Let them go. Having said that, we need now to put in another body in place. And we need to have a foolproof electoral system. The BVRs failed, my friend. They did. On the first day. Eight billion shillings. Eight billion shillings. Who takes responsibility for that? IBC or anybody else? IBC. We don't want them to fail. The EVID failed. The voter identification yeah. uh, device yeah. failed. And they're going to need new DV, BVDs uh, by, uh, by August, right? We, we, yeah. need those, eight billion, we, not, we need those ones. I'm, what I actually have said all along is that let us have the donor community help us in oh, that. please, come on. <laughs> can can I that. just finish? Can I just finish? The donor community help us in this technology and, and outsource that because we've not been able to do it right here. Really? Should the donor community also corruption, give us a CJ? Corruption. Should we have a chief justice who's no, no, from no, the donor no, no, community? No, 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 no. We've got an MD for the airport, so no, 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 no. I don't know. From Norway. Why would we stop that? From Norway. Absolutely. We have an, a an MD? Yes. In the Kenya Airport Authority? Yes. yes. Good idea. Let's see how he does job. his job. <laughs> we, we are corrupt, my friend. We are the most corrupt country in the world. <laughs> What do no, we do? It's Pakistan. Our, our, are, judi our, our, judiciary, <laughs> our judiciary has gone to hell. Except Willie Mutunga. You know what I mean? And a few other judges. Our, our legal fraternity is all willing and dealing. You know what These I mean? Ones. The, he's a member of it, but I'm talking about the legal fraternity. Okay. Our political class is what they are in a morass. So our executive... So we bring foreigners? Civil servants are what they so are. So we bring foreigners? Maybe we should start packing our own judiciary with a few foreigners packing a few also, you know, old hands also from Commonwealth countries in the civil service. We need to do that because we have to, we have to, we have to reclaim certain moral authority to be let's take a break, come back. We haven't talked about the CJ yet. CJ nominees. I, I would have loved to see a situation in which... Makao Mutua is there? Makao Mutua is there. <laughs> Mumbi is there. Hang on a minute. Just She's not judge, there. She hasn't been shortlisted. I don't know. Judge Mumbi is there. Okay. Professor Kameri Bote is there. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. I mean, there are people. This yeah. lady who is... I, I, this lady who is in Riara University? Yes. The registrar of Riara Correct. University? I forget her name. Well, you know, she's not there, but you know, let's talk about it when we come back. Sure. When we come back. Who's going to be the next CJ? We still have some very good material in this six of it's them. Too late, so let's, man. Let's JSC has decided. The six of them. No, no, there's, there's good material in there the is. six of them. Of course, okay. yes. Of course, yes. Keep tweeting at Edwin Sifuna. Yes. At Edwin Sifuna, at Farah Marlin, at Kwenanga Jeff. The hashtag Mundu Mundu. Mundu. Did I say that right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> man to man.
Jeff Greenaghy live with the Villa Oscar and Pinsky takes another break. We'll be back very shortly. Back in a moment. <laughs>